overview of REST HTTP communications, JSON, the team developer REST API, and samples for team developer. So REST stands for rep representational state transfer, an architecture style for designing network apps to make calls between machines, platform and language independent. It relies on, cl on stateless client-server communication and it typically uses the HTTP protocol. protocol. It is lightweight compared to SOAP, so SOAP and XML web services transmit a lot more data and the RESTful services using JSON um, transmit a lot less and so it's quicker. You have those HTTP verbs, post, put, get and delete. We saw those in the GD mobile application. And anything done in SOAP web services can be done with the RESTful architecture as well. So here are the um, HTTP verbs, get to fetch um, data. This is mostly read only, but um, you will, we will see an exception at the end. Post creates a new resource, so basically um, insert data into a SQL database if you talk SQL. Put is to update data and delete is delete an existing resource. Um, you don't need this one here. The JSON data, you basically what you need to do is to grab the UDV and variable names from the JSON response, response. And again, you need to look up the variable names here and your UDV member names need to match these names here. And if there's a top level variable, this one here doesn't have one, you need to use those as for the array as well. So it's the same as in TD Mobile, easy to use function. Um, automatic serialization of JSON strings into UDVs and vice versa. So here's the first uh, function that we have, start JSON serialize UDV. Um, you pass in the name of a UDV, like C company array, then the URL of the JSON web, services, web service, then you have one um, parameter for the HTTP um, type that you want to use, get, put, post, or delete. You get back a result from the server, and that in many times is a serialized JSON as well. Um, oh, well, no. In this case here, if you do a, a get, you, you will have the data in here. And if you do a put or delete or, or um, a post, then you will get a message back from the server, something like, yeah, update has worked or something like that. There's a username, a password, and then an error that is also an error indication. So there's like a reply here in this as result, and there's an error indication as well. And there's StarJSON deserialized UDV, where you provide <clears throat> the UDV again, the URL for the GET request, username, password, and error information. So this is just for getting data. So I'll just deserialize the UDV array, the URL, and that's it. And this, I can't just list more here. We've seen that before, but that's really very important. If something doesn't work, it's very likely that you have a mismatch in this definition here. So you need to have an <clears throat> an instance variable that has an array of the UDV and that name of the UDV needs to match the name in the JSON. If that doesn't match, it doesn't work. And also the names of the um, UDV members need to match. See here is we have value and here we have S company and we have S country. So that, this absolutely needs to match for this to work. So here's an example. Let's run this. First, have a look at it. And now I can put in, you know, a from and to, and this will 
um, actually go out to Google Maps and use the RESTful API of Google Maps to retrieve the red directions driving from one location to another one or from one address to another address. I have I've put in here north, you know, the office address. Actually, it's it's the, the actually there's an error in the address. It's Pacific Highway, not North Pacific Highway, but it works anyway. So pre Google is pretty cool in that. It's pretty <laughs> flexible. So and if I get the direct directions, so you get the the legs, everything. The directions are you get them kind of a, um, HTML formatted. Um, oh, and if you click on those, then it switches to the. I didn't know that that was programmed in here as well. Um, and if you look at the J JSON response, see the variable name geocoded waypoints zero one, and then the routes and the legs of a route. So that's all the data that is coming back, and that is then being read into the application. So basically, if you get, click on Get Directions, there's a SAL JSON deserialized UDV. Um, root data is the UDV array, and the S direction URL is the URL that Google requires to understand your request, and that's being built here, basically. So that's how you do this. And then again, the all HTTP verbs, um, the MongoDB. Did I close it again? Yeah. Which is kind of a clean implementation. I think that was the wrong one. Mongo Island, that's one. So this one now talks to the same Mongo Island provider that we used in TD Mobile before. And here's the data coming from that island company table. And you see that's basically the URL again. You can also open that in the browser again. And you see the, the formatted JSON for this, which is an array here. And um, you can also insert records, update and delete. I don't show you how to do that, but I show you the code here. So I think there's a button, PV update, which is doing all the processing here. So it's basically scrolling through the table window to find out um, table flags. And if the table flag is row new, then we are doing a style JSON serialized UDV and doing an HTTP post to insert a new row into the, um, you know, into the JSON, uh, into the a Mongo database via JSON web service. And the same is for a row edited for updates here, and then you will see we are using an HTTP put, and the same for delete. So pretty straightforward, as you've seen in TD Mobile as well. And then in Team Developer, you can also create JSON web service provider. Um, in <clears throat> allows other dev tools, especially JavaScript, to consume easily a TD.NET JSON web service. You publish it the same way as a TD.NET XML web service. And the interoperation with a TD.NET JSON web service is all via HTTP post. That's the exception I wanted to mention, or that I mentioned initially. Um, it's all being done via post. And you do this if you deploy a .NET web service you can enable JSON here, and then the web service will use JSON and not XML. Um, so, and basically, if you deploy, when you, um, com if you build a TD.NET web service, then you, with the web service, you get that file here. 
get island companies, which is the name of the um, web service object. .asmx is the uh, ASP.NET file for this. And then slash, and behind the slash, you, you are basically calling the methods of the web service, the different, different methods. That's get companies, update company, insert company, and delete company. So these are the URLs that come up, basically come <coughs> need you use for this TD JSON web service. And you need to use large JSON zero as UDV. So let's look at an, a sample here. So this guy here is basically pretty much, no, we didn't use to be shown. It. So this is a, uh, a grid window, and the data is coming from, from a TD JSON web service. So, and you can see that I can go in here um, and edit data, change that to South Sydney, and say, update, and then refresh, so you see that that refresh data really came, comes from the service and the database has been updated. Um, let's look at this now here. For the get company, so I created functions for, for read, update, and so on. For reading data, you see I'm using SAR JSON serialized UDV, as mentioned. You can only use this one. Here's the UDV array, and then the, um, the URL of the local JSON web service. And for update, and in this case, you will see that all using, oh no, I'm, yes, I'm using all the same, SAR JSON serialized UDV, and I'm using HTTP POST here and HTTP POST here. So it's different handling for these ASP.NET JSON services. But you can do all of them, so the insert is pretty much the same. HTTP POST, and it knows to do an insert just by, by you calling the right um, method of the service here. So the TD REST API is an easy way to talk to corporate RESTful service layers, easy to connect to social networks, so all Facebooks and friends all use, all provide um, JSON interfaces or RESTful, RESTful interfaces as well that you can use, so you can post social stuff if you like. And you can easily integrate um, your software with other systems like SAP, Salesforce, and OpenText Enterprise Software or OpenText eDocs document management as well. And that was the REST overview for team developer. <laughs>